Hey everyone, it's Kelly with Confident Finance. In this video, I'm going to show you two of the most important reports you'll need when using Quicken to help you file your taxes. This is especially true if you're self-employed, you have a side hustle of some sort, or you own any rental properties. The first one is under Reports, and then scroll down to Business, then your Schedule C, Profit or Loss from Business. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to change the year to the year of the taxes that we're working on. And in this case, it's 2024. So Quicken categorizes everything for your Schedule C right under here. Income, car, truck expenses, interest, office expenses, supplies, etc. Utilities, business expenses. If you're like me and sometimes transactions don't get categorized correctly, you're going to end up with this. And it says unspecified business expense. Well, what's that? <laughs> Usually there are more of them, but some of them have already been corrected for this year. But I wanted to save one to use for this video. All of these need to be corrected before you file your taxes. So in order to fix this, you want to double click on this line and it's going to bring us to the transaction in whatever account was used to purchase. In this case, it was a Menards purchase. It says utilities business, which is definitely incorrect. Here I actually entered a receipt, and if you click on it, it was entered, but the transaction didn't get categorized correctly. So we can zoom in. And we can see that something is for one of the rental properties and it's not connected with the business at all. So I'm going to close that out and I'm going to change it to supplies rental instead. And you can ignore my dog in the background. She wanted to add her two cents there. So I'm going to guess that my hubby's the one that worked on the property. I know he's working on this one, so I'm going to put the supplies under that, and I'm going to clear it. It was most likely reconciled already, so I'm going to clear that. Sometimes things get missed in Quicken. You'll learn to look for those things. So I'm going to go back to the Schedule C report, and you can see the uncategorized transaction is now gone. Everything is now correct. All categories are correct, so now I'm ready to fill out my taxes. We use Tax Act, even though Quicken is partnered with TurboTax, if that's the correct term for that. I've never used TurboTax before. I've used Tax Act forever, or my husband, I should say, since he does our taxes. And it works well for our purposes. So these reports I can print out, or I can export data into different formats, usually Excel. It's a really nice feature of Quicken. So that's the first report. The second one you're going to want to be familiar with is if you own rental properties is Schedule E, Supplemental Income and Loss. On your taxes, Schedule E handles three properties. Depending on how many you own, you'll use multiple Schedule E's. So again, I'm going to change this to 2024, and right away I can see another unspecified rental expense. So I'm going to click on it, and we're going to see what it was. So it looks like this was for a legal document. We had our attorney write up for a tenant that we had to boot. So in here, we're going to change this to legal and professional fees, and then it's going to be for this property. So then we go back to our Schedule E report, and we see the transaction has now been categorized correctly. With Schedule E, it's going to show rents at the top, and then any liabilities underneath it, insurance, legal and professional fees, the one we just added here, there's interest expense, repairs, maintenance, supplies, taxes, utilities, etc. All the way to the next property. Each property is going to be in line here as we scroll down.
And keep in mind, any transaction you can double click on to go directly to it if you need to, maybe to figure out something with it if there's something wrong. And it's the same way with the Schedule C. You can also print or export the data however you would like. And this is one of the reasons why we chose Quicken is because it's so detailed with the categories and the tags. It makes tax time a breeze, or as much of a breeze as it can be, right? It makes it a lot easier when things are organized into categories and they're tagged correctly. And Quicken makes it really, really easy to do this throughout the year. And then things that get messed up, you can correct like I showed you in this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please hit the like button and thumbs up, and keep on the lookout for future videos. This is Kelly with Confident Finance. Thanks.